on that Monday night, the storm was coming in <laughs> and we agreed that I would go down, we'd stay together on the old ground. And she, I said, look, I'll go back and collect you. No, 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 I have my, I, I'll drive. So we agreed we'd meet in Ina, which is 10, 15 minutes from home. And when she wasn't there, unfortunately, um, she, she was driving on a road that she drove three or four times a day and she missed a bend. And unfortunately we lost her. And uh, I went back, I kept driving when she wasn't in Ina, we'd agreed to meet in Ina uh, and there was no sign of her. Uh, I kept driving. And uh, I came upon the accident, uh, oh. and uh, it was it was it was tough. Uh, oh, I mean, Lord. I, I uh, you, you know, you, I told her I loved her, and uh, the fire brigade were there, the ambulance, the guard, the and I do want to say this, Ryan, sure, because what they did that they did their best to save my mom, but I knew I knew what my mother wanted because she was deep deep faith, much more so than me now. Mm -hmm. And I said, I asked the, 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 the fire brigade, the ambulance and the guard, would they say a prayer with me? And we said, once we had mom taken out of the car, we all stood around and we said a prayer together. Oh. So I want to compliment and thank those frontline people who we forget how brave they are yeah. and how kind they are. True. It's only when it comes to tragedy comes to your doorstep. So tonight I want to salute the ambulance yeah. who do I mean, it every day of the week fair. and the guard and the fire brigade. Right. Yeah. Well said. Well said. <clears throat> um.